The Oklahoma County Grand Jury has just issued a final report on three hot button months long investigations. Capitol reporter Storm Jones has been going through the report for us. Storm, talk to us about what the grand jury found. Well, Amanda, the grand jury has been meeting for over seven months now, and uh, they've been looking into topics like uh, alleged misconduct here at the state capitol. That led to the indictment of former House Speaker Pro Tem Terry O'Donnell. Also being investigated, alleged uh, malpractice at the state pardon and parole board and conditions inside the Oklahoma County Jail. Now, this 65-page report just coming down without uh, within the last hour or so. We want to focus in on the findings on the pardon and parole board first. Now, the, the grand jury uh, said that the board lacks transparency and objective criteria when it comes to whether a prisoner should receive a commutation. They say that creates distrust among the public. The board also points to the case of Lawrence Anderson, who you've likely seen used in campaign ads critical of Governor Kevin Stitt. Anderson was released from prison and allegedly went on to kill three people, ripping one of their hearts out. The grand jury said he'd already been denied commutation seven months earlier due to his risk to reoffend and that he shouldn't have been eligible again. The grand jury wrote, quote, it appears that these three deaths could have been avoided had the board rules and applicable law been followed. The panel said they heard evidence related to four other murders allegedly committed by inmates released during the, quote, commutation push. The grand jury said testimony from board employees revealed since early 2019 there was a, quote, rush to get more and more people out of prison. The jury also calls into question closed door meetings between Governor Kevin Stitt and board members saying they were grossly improper. Certainly a lot to go through in these reports, a lot to delve into. We'll continue doing just that. For now, we're live at the state capitol. Storm Jones, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.